Welcome to this new how to. And in this how to, I'm going to show you an issue which I recently experienced when starting Flight Simulator. So the issue was that when I started Flight Simulator, it directly went to the Microsoft Store, right? The, uh, if you look for the store, uh, that's this tool, right? And in the store, you will have the uh, nice gaming service, which you need to have installed right, to make sure that you can play uh, Flight Simulator 2020 and several other games. However, in my case, it resulted in a massive issue because when I clicked Flight Simulator, it continuously went back to this application, right? And this application, you can, I can click it and then it will bring you here. And this is what exactly happened. And you can see also some other people complaining about this issue. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So the first step you need to do is you need to uninstall the existing Xbox app. You can do that by going to the uh, menu. Uh, let me do that. Uh, um, then <laughs> it looks a little bit weird. And then uh, right clicking the Xbox icon. Let me uh, do that. And then selecting the uninstall option, which is here, right? So if you click on uninstall, it will be removed, which is fine and which is what you would expect. Then once you've done that, you need to open PowerShell. So you can simply search for PowerShell and then also make sure that you're using it as administrator because that's a hard requirement. That will bring up this window. And then you need to run this command that, And this command that simply removes the complete gaming service for all users. Uh, don't worry because you will fix it and by reinstalling it uh, very soon. So once you've done that, you need to search for uh, the Xbox app in the Microsoft Store. And once you've done that, you need to click install. In my case, it's already installed. And when you click open, it will automatically say, hey, I'm missing the gaming service. Do you want to reinstall them? Simply hit yes. Give it a few minutes. And once done, you can start Flight Simulator and your issue should be resolved. I hope this resolves the issue. Here ends the video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.